Welcome back. We're here looking at the uh, indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, April 12, 2021. If you'd like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get our full technical analysis, our online trades, and also our courses. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we are trading just at the top of uh, the Bollinger Band. We are also significantly overbought at this current stage. So a pullback is fairly expected for the S&P 500. So we'll most likely find major support down here at the 4,000. That's probably where we'll drop to. If we drop below that, then we could go all the way down towards the 50 moving average at 390. Uh, 3,000, sorry, 926. So technical indicators otherwise are very bullish. We have been in a very bullish run here for the last two weeks and a pullback at this at this stage it should be expected. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So the Dow Jones, very similar. We are also at the top of the Bollinger Band. We are at 71 in the RSI. Other technical indicators are very bullish at this point, but we are getting fairly overstretched. We are trading at 33,756. Pull back towards the middle of the Bollinger Band, give or take 33,000. That is most likely where buyers will come back in. If we drop below that, we could head towards the bottom of the Bollinger Band, which is 32,334. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So the NASDAQ continues to rally. We are getting, approaching the previous highs here at the 13,890. And at this current stage, we are getting on the edge of being overbought. And we have basically been rallying since the bottom here at 12,632. So a massive rally to the upside. And there have been several warnings that this is basically getting overstretched. We had one here. It continued to go flat and then continued yet again to rally. It got outside and is again testing the outside. So the top of this range probably where we'll find major resistance at the 13,900, give or take. And we'll probably drop back towards the bottom of the, the middle of the bullish band, give or take 13,200 or in this area here where we have the 20 exponential, the 50. We also have a crossing of those and that is an additional bullish sign for this indice. So let's look at the, the German DAX. Also, German DAX, uh, we are witnessing uh, basically stabilization around this area. It is basically not breaking down. It is trading sideways. So we found uh, support here at the 20 exponential, rallied outside of the bullish band, pulled back a little bit, and now we're trading sideways. And usually this is a very bullish sign that this could basically take off to the upside. It's basically just buying time, and then we could head towards 15,500 or even 16,000. We are significantly over uh, overbought, so a pullback from here should not be uh, strange. Um, we'll most likely find support at the 4, 14,825, which is basically the middle of the bullish band. If that breaks, we could head all the way down to the bottom at the 13,300. So let's look at a UK 100. Let's see. And as you can see, we are getting very overstretched here. We are on the edge of being overbought in the RSI. Technical indicators, they are still bullish, but there are signs that they are basically crossing the signal line, for example, the stochastic, and we are way outside of the bullish band here. So pull back towards the middle of the bullish band at 6,775. That could be expected at this current stage. It doesn't mean that it will happen straight away, but we are getting close to 7,000 uh, 7, and also the previous uh, basically highs here. We are actually testing that area. And um, at this point, a pullback uh, would probably be the best. And uh, we are in uptrend, so there's no basically reason to short this. It's basically a buying of the, of the, of the dips. So let's look at the China, uh, China 50. And uh, as you can see, we had a major drop on on friday we are approaching the same uh, levels where we found support in the past just about the 200 moving average so the 200 moving average we have not tested it yet technical indicators they are all turning to 
turning around. MACD is still in negative territory, almost crossed the signal line. So we'll most likely find, uh, we mostly test the 200 moving week average uh, at give or take 16,676. Uh, and if we rally from there, then we'll probably go and retest the 20 exponential again. If we break below the 200 moving week average, we could head all the way down to 15,000. So, but this is, um, we haven't gotten close to the 200 moving average yet. So that usually is a very um, supportive sign that we probably won't break below the 200 moving average. You can see that in the past, we have gotten close to the 200 moving average and have rallied from there. So this is a significant drop in this um, indice, but um, it'll be interesting to see whether or not the 200 moving average holds or not. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.